All right, let's start this one here. Try this here fast, please. Help me out here, please. I'm killing. Right, first column, false. Then, right, so we negate everything here, right? Next one, negation of Q and P. So we're looking at this and this. False, true, false, nice. Last one, so we're looking at P and uh, this here. Sorry, P or that, what you'll get? True, true, right. Are they logically equivalent? No, it's not the same, right? All the truth values have to be identical. Your answer is they are not logically equivalent. So today we wanna to start the slightly harder um, part of this, right? Where we're going to use the rules, all right? So we don't have to memorize these rules, right? Once you know the truth tables, you can, you can kind of figure these rules out, okay? I'm gonna, let me give you a few examples. P and P is P. What does, that, what does that say? That says this. P is a proposition, right? P could be true or P could be false, correct? So if we have true and true, then the answer is what? True, right? If we had, if we had false and false, what you'll get? False. So what does that mean? P and P will always give you so once you know the truth table for conjunction, you don't have to kind of, you don't, you don't have to learn these off, right? What about P or P? If this is true or true, you'll get true. If you add false or false, you'll also get. So it means that P or P is, right? What about, what about ones a little bit harder? What about P and true? What will the answer be? Right? Because watch, when P is true, the answer is what? When P is false, the answer is? So therefore, th this is dependent on this. That's okay? So P and true will always be? Right? Are you okay with that? What about P or true? Right, P or true is true. Because true or true, that's true. False or true is true. So it don't matter what this is, the answer is always true. That's okay? So you don't really have to learn it all. Okay? They will also award you full marks if you make the right substitution, but you don't remember the names of the lords. I'll be honest, I don't remember all the names of the lords. <laughs> right? But it's nice when they can put the names of the lords at the end. Okay? So it's important that you know the rules. Um, there is one here that I want you to really understand. Right, this one here. See this one here, this distributive law. I wanna show you how it works, right? You all remember if you have two multiplied by four plus three, what you will get? And you will get two multiplied by four plus two multiplied by three. Right, that's the distributive law. So if I give you P and P and Q or R is the same principle. So it will be P and Q multiplying this by this technically or this P and R. That's okay? So that, that's a way to remember the law, right? Just like the way you would expand out this, it is the same way you would expand out this. So once you see it, you know, hopefully you don't have to go back to the rules and do it. And uh, one that is not so familiar is this, the Morgan's law. If you negate P or Q, it's real simple. You will negate P, you will negate Q, and the opposite of the disjunction is the conjunction. That's okay? That's called the De Morgan's law. So you have to learn all the, you have to learn all the rules, but it's much easier if you learn the table, right? And you can figure out everything. Right, there's only two that don't really make sense that don't really come from the laws is these absorptive laws, right? So you had, you had to learn those all, right? P and anything is P, P or anything is P. So you had to kind of learn that law, right? So close your eyes here. Let's take a look at this. 
right? We have to prove that the negation of P and the negation of Q is equivalent to P and Q, right? So let's start. Negation of P and Q. So let's start with the left-hand side. Why are that feeling wrong? Hold on, eh? Yeah, this, this should be O. So what are we doing here? First thing first, take the left-hand side around you, right? And we write, it, we write the left-hand side, right? So if you look at the right-hand side, there is no negation, right? And there's no brackets. So what do we do? Remove the bracket. So the law is the Morgan's law. So we're going to negate the negation of P. What's the negation of conjunction, Shivesh? this junction, and then you have the double negation of Q. When you double negate, what you'll get? Right, it cancel off. So the answer is P or Q, and you prove it. That's the way the rules work, right? Copy it down. All right, let's go. Number one, we have to make that left-hand side equal to the right-hand side. So the first thing that we have to try to do right, is just put it in a more familiar form. So I want to help it just with one line. So I just switch in it using commutative law, negation of P and P or Q. I want you to take it from there. Check and see which law I think you're going to apply here next. Distributive, very good. Go ahead, apply distributive law and then simplify it out. If you use the distributive law, you will get the negation of P and P or the negation of P and Q, right? Look at your answer. If you look at your answer, somehow or the other, this has to disappear, correct? Right? What is the negation of P and P? False. That's always false, right? Right, we're using truth value, so we're not using ones and zeros, right? Or the negation of P and Q. What is false or anything? Anything, right? False, like if, if you look at the rules, P or false is P, okay? This whole thing here is P, okay? So we'll end up with negation of P and Q. And you're done, that's it there. One more easy one, right? Try this one. I'll get P and the negation of P. That is the distributive law. Or P and P and Q, we multiply this by this, right? It's like multiplying. What's the next step? First one is false. And false or anything is what? Anything. Shavish, it's just like the last one, watch. Last easy one, it's like one line long. Oh, by the way, what do these three lines mean? Right, but what's the difference between three lines and two lines? Equivalent, you, you can't solve. Equal, you can solve, right? Equal allows you to apply algebra, right? Equivalent, you can't. What the law you apply? De Morgan's, right? So you'll get the negation of P or the double negation of Q which simplifies to the negation of P or Q. That's it, QED. Let's go a little bit harder now. Do that, please. Left-hand side. So we have, basically, we had to get rid of everything except for this Q on the right side here, right? So that is P and uh, the negation of P or Q or Q, 
right? If you expand inside there, we'll get P and the negation of P. So I'm using distributive law in here. Or P and the Q. Right? P and the negation of Q, that will always be false. False or P and Q. Right? False or anything is what? So we end up with P and Q or Q. And now we have the what? The absorptive law. Right? And the answer is Q. So try this one. The negation of P and Q, the negation of P or Q. Remember, you can only use distributive law if here and here is the same. Eh? Okay, these two things have to be identical and these two symbols have to be identical. Right? We had to use the Morgans, right? So you'll get negation of P or negation of Q and negation of P or Q. What are we going to do now? So we're going to do the reverse of the distributive law. So instead of expanding, you're kind of factorizing in a way. Okay? The reverse is what? Negation of P. Right, they both have negation of P, not P or open brackets, not Q and Q. What's the negation of Q and Q? False, nice. So negation of P or false. What's the negation of P or false? Negation of P. Are we done? We have it there. Right, try this last one there. All right, so let's see. You'll get the negation of P or Q and the negation of P or the negation of Q. When you factor it out, you're good to go. You'll get Q and the negation of Q. Q and the negation of Q is false, right? False or anything else, anything. All right, the next thing you're moving on to is something called phylaxiums, right? So we have to go back and use rules that you're familiar with, right? So we know the rules, but I'm just gonna show you using set notation and think how to apply them, all right? So for example, so what you're seeing here are all these symbols, right? So first thing first, in mathematics, there are only two operations, addition and multiplication. Subtraction is the inverse of addition. Division is the inverse of multiplication. So there are only two rules that you really have to learn. Addition and multiplication. If you look at commutativity, you all recognize that? Right. So x plus y is the same as y plus x. We know that already. x multiplied by y is the same as y by x. Associative, we technically just use it. If, if somebody gave me x plus y plus z, I can add the X and Y, or I can add the Y and Z, and I'll get the same answer. Multiplication, same concept. If you have X, Y, Z, and you're multiplying, you can multiply X by Y, then by Z, or Y by Z, and then X. Distributive, technically, technically we just did it distributive, right? X by Y plus X by Z, right? Every operation has an identity. Right, identity means when you add it to that value, you'll get back the original value. So x plus zero will give you x. Zero is called the additive identity, right? What is the multiplicative identity? One, right? Very good, right? So the multiplicative identity is one. So you see this here? This rule is important. A star E is equal to A. That is the rule to find the identity element, right? A, by any function, once it gives you A, that E is the, is the what? Identity element, right? So we're going to use a matrix method next day to work out these things, right? What is the additive inverse? 
right? A plus minus A is zero. So it means that the additive inverse is negative A. Multiplicative inverse is what? One on A, all right? What you all recognize about the additive inverse? What you get in? Which is the identity. So you would recognize here that there's a rule. What's your rule? A by B, B by A, giving you E, then B is the inverse. So whenever you get in the identity, that term is the inverse, all right? Next day, we're gonna focus on this matrices here. I'm not rushing it down now, right?